Hello, we're at Hastings Foreshore in my hometown. Uh, we're in front of Vape Force One, which is part of the uh, Legalise Vaping campaign. I'm here with their uh, spokesperson, Brian Marlow. Thank you for speaking with us. Good day, Tim. Thanks for having me. Now, your slogan is uh, Legalise Vaping, which is a two-word slogan. Now, I'll get you to explain uh, both words. Now, first, what is vaping? Uh, so vaping uh, is essentially a way to vaporise a liquid that you can inhale. Uh, it mimics the process of smoking, but unlike smoking regular tobacco, uh, it doesn't have any of the carcinogens and the tar that, that cause cancer and kill you know, one in three smokers as a minimum. Uh, so for those of you watching, this is a vape here. In this canister here is a liquid. This one doesn't have nicotine liquid, uh, and people use uh, vapes essentially as a, as a quitting aid to get off tobacco and give up smoking once and for all, which is what we all want to see. And of course the, the other word is legalised. Now why is it illegal? Yeah, so just as clarification on that, it's legal to vape so long as there's no nicotine in this liquid. But people who smoke, they crave smokes because it has nicotine in it. So they want to put nicotine liquid in these vapes in order to, in order to not have the cravings to smoke cigarettes and make a switch to a healthier alternative. Uh, it's illegal to possess, buy or sell nicotine liquid for vaping uh, all throughout Australia. Federal law allows you to buy a three-month supply for personal use, but in every single state and territory, it's actually illegal to possess it. So state uh, and territory governments are making criminals out of people that want to uh, do the right thing and get off smoking. Why it's illegal, we don't know. Uh, we have a suspicion it's probably because of how much money tobacco taxes rake in for the government. Uh, you know, if people were to make the switch from smoking to vaping, uh, without all the uh, taxes that are associated with smokes, uh, the government would lose billions and billions and billions of dollars of revenue uh, each year. So it could have something to do with that, but we don't know the real reason behind it. But whatever it is, it's not good enough. Now, uh, how popular is the practice in Australia? Is it? Uh, can you tell me of many success stories of people who've been able to use vaping to get off smoking? Yeah, well, at a minimum, there are about 250,000 people in Australia that vape. Um, in terms of you know the success that we're having at the moment, we started out this campaign. We had 500 likes on Facebook, and that's only because we liked all of our we asked all of our friends to like our page. Uh, we're now at over 10 and a half thousand in just a few weeks of being out on the road. Everywhere we go, every single town we go to, uh, there are people waiting for us who have seen us on Facebook, have seen the Facebook event we've set up, uh, and are waiting for us to come so they can tell their story uh, and you know support what we're doing. These are all people that. Uh, a person I keep referencing is a guy who I met in Coffs Harbour. His name's Tom. Uh, Tom, if you are watching this, g'day, mate. He's a, he's a truckie. He was smoking two packs of 50 cigarettes a day. Uh, and he tried patches, gum, Champix tablets, hypnosis, all kinds of different therapies that are approved by the government to quit smoking. None of them worked. Uh, and then he, a friend of his gave him a vape to try out, and he reckons he made the switch in about three or four days, he said. And he now just the smell and taste of a cigarette puts him off. So that's one person, but there are, we've met thousands of people with the same story. This is the only thing that managed to get them off smoking. And it's the only thing that managed them managed to allow them to do something that's healthier and also saves them a lot of money, heaps of money. Now, there are plenty of ways to uh, launch a, a campaign such as this. You've decided to go with a, a touring bus. Now, where did this idea come from? Because it's, it's a very bold uh, campaign strategy. Yeah, look, it is. Um, sometimes I think we've bitten off more than we can chew just with the amount of driving. But uh, it, it is good fun. The, look, originally when the campaign started, uh, before I even got involved with the campaign, it was... Uh, Tim Andrews over at the ATA uh, organised for volunteers to go out and sign people up to get it legalised and sign petitions that we would then send to their local MP. Uh, and we got heaps of support through that. And then we started getting a lot of support online that was uh, really unexpected. Uh, there's a, there's a, there are a lot of vaping groups in, in Australia, a lot of online vaping forums that picked up on what we were doing and started supporting us. Um, and then about six months ago, we started thinking, OK, what can we actually do with the money that we've raised that will get the word out there and get in front of the media and get attention as to you know why nicotine vaping needs to be legalised. And we thought, well, why don't we uh, do a campaign bus? We had a pretty limited budget, so we hired this van. Uh, Apollo campers were kind enough to let us wrap it and uh, gave us a pretty cheap price to, to rent it out for the month. Uh, and we've just been pounding the pavement and, and tearing up the east coast of Australia, coming to towns, educating people who don't know about vaping what it is, as well as meeting with media. We've had a lot of media attention, which we didn't expect either, which has been great.
Yeah, as you mentioned, you've been right up the the east coast of Australia. So, and you're uh, dealing like directly with the with the public. So it's a very direct campaign. Yeah. What's the uh, reception that you've had so far? It is the only campaign I've ever worked on where, out of the thousands of people we've met so far, I can count on one hand people that when they've asked us who have, who have not known what vaping is, once we've explained it to them, have been vehemently opposed to it. So far I'm at, number, I'm at five people. Um, I've never had a campaign where someone asks what you're on about, you explain it to them, and so many people just get it, they understand it. So even for people that don't know what vaping is, as soon as we explain, look, it's a way to get people off smoking and it's you know, much healthier and you know, it's legal in the UK and the US and New Zealand and Canada and the EU, they've all turned around and gone, well, why isn't this legal? I mean, I've even had journalists who have come out to interview us sign our petition at the end of it because they don't understand why this isn't legal in Australia. Um, everyone gets it. It's been huge. Uh, but you and I both know that the nanny state is very large uh, in Australia and uh, it's, there hasn't been many successes against it. I mean, just look at the cigarette smoking itself. Uh, despite there being you know, still heaps of smokers in Australia, the taxes just keep going up and up and up and it's uh, bipartisan. Uh, no, uh, given that, um, you know, how confident are you that on this issue you can finally br break through and you know, finally you know, get through to the politicians that you know, this is you know, something, a law that needs to change? Uh, we're pretty confident. Um, as I said, we, we've, we're building up a, long, a strong following on Facebook uh, and on social media, Instagram and things like that. On top of that, though, just outside of the social media community, we're starting to get a lot of attention from media. I've been doing interviews with ABC Radio. I did an interview with Channel 7 when I was up on the coast. Um, Hit 105 in Brisbane, which is their equivalent of Today FM, they gave us a call to find out what we were doing. So it's in the, it's in the public eye and we're hoping to ramp it up before the tour is over. Um, we've got an event at Parliament House, within Parliament House, where we'll be trying to educate MPs about why it needs to be legalised. And on top of that, uh, we even had Tim Wilson, who's the federal member for Goldstein, he's one of the good ones, uh, who actually tweeted at us when we asked him what his position on vaping was, and he said that his position on vaping was... He had a very strong position on vaping, and he didn't believe that people like him, i.e. politicians, had the right to tell people like us how to live our lives, which is about as close as you can get to an endorsement from someone who's prominent within the Liberal Party. So whilst we're in Hastings and Greg Hunt, the Federal Health Minister, is stupidly against what we're trying to do, um, there are people within his own party that clearly support it. So we feel like we're getting some progress out of this and we're getting somewhere. Uh, hopefully you can uh, get enough people to, to make some noise because at the end of the day the politicians, they're scared of an angry public. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, and that's why we're out here. I mean, people can go to our website, they can fill out our, our uh, online petition. Uh, and what that does is it sends an email immediately directly to uh, your local MP and federal MP's inbox and lets them know you're a constituent, you think it should be legalised and that they're in your way. Uh, and that it's something that you, uh, you know, strongly believe in. Um, the more people that do that, the better chances we have that they'll start paying attention because politicians are a different breed. Uh, they only care about what's going to happen at the next election or what their approval ratings are looking like. So they don't really necessarily care about what's in the public interest. They care about themselves first and foremost. Uh, and the best thing to do is to put the pressure up on the bastards. Now, you're in Hastings, uh, Victoria today, and as we discussed before, you're uh, touring the, the east coast of Australia. What are, what are the future plans for the Vape Force One? Uh, so after today, we uh, head up from here into Bega. Um, it's an Eden Monaro electorate, a very marginal area, and a bellwether electorate. We're going to be ramping up the pressure there, letting them know that this is a, a vote-winning issue. Uh, and then from there, we're off into Canberra. We're spending a couple of days around Canberra, uh, you know, pounding the pavement, signing people up and trying to get metre in the area. Um, and we've got an event uh, at Parliament House on the 13th of February uh, within Parliament House that's uh, all been locked in and uh, we'll be trying to educate some of the MPs there as well to do the right thing, hopefully uh, you know, get, a, get a visit from some of the politicians that support what we're doing, such as Senator Lionhelm from the Liberal Democrats. Uh, he fully supports the legalisation of nicotine vaping. In fact, I think just recently, the other day, uh, in the first week in the Senate, he tried to introduce an amendment to allow it to be legalised. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll be ramping up the pressure that way. Uh, we'll have a big uh, campaign uh, after party uh, back in Sydney, which the event details will go up shortly. And uh, after that, just because the bus finishes, the campaign won't finish. We'll then uh, go into stage two, which we're working on and we'll announce later on. 
And of course, uh, this caravan, it's not just for show. This is what you're actually uh, st uh, staying in. So that, that's, there's, a, there's no fancy hotels or anything. No, no. We're on a very, very, very limited budget. Um, ham sandwiches for lunch and sleeping in a hot box uh, during the day. Uh, sorry, during the night. Um, it does get a bit cramped. It does get a bit tiring. But it, uh, it's, it is what it is. So we're just getting used to it. Now, uh, uh, as I mentioned, you're in my hometown of Hastings. It's, uh, it's not often that the news comes to me. I've got to go to the news. So, um, yeah, th uh, thanks for speaking with The Unshackled today and good luck with the rest of the campaign. No worries. Thank you, mate. So what's the reception been like in Hastings? Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic here in Hastings with the response of people signing up. It's about a 1 in 10 ratio of people. Most people who don't sign up, uh, they're usually people who don't really know enough about it, either that or they're just rushing to work or they're rushing to get on, their, on, the, on, on with their day. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been alright. Uh, you definitely hope that probably this is the first time they've heard about vaping, they may want to find out more and yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, we've been giving people um, links to the website that we're running as well, so they can learn more about it as well. Um, mainly, yeah. It's and we hand out the leaflets, and it's got more information on. But we even have a website where we can log on and enter all the information of if they smoke and how much you can save from switching to vaping as well. Cheers, mate. Uh, would you be able to sign our petition for us today? It's just oh. to legalise vaping. Um, so, you know them electronic cigarettes you see people walking around with? Yeah. We're trying to legalise them because they're legal in the US and the UK as well. Oh, okay. And uh, we're trying to legalise them over here, so we're just getting a few basic details. <laughs> um, and all these Europeans as well are coming in with their electronic cigarettes, not realising it's illegal. Yeah. And being fined up to $45,000, and it's ruining the backpackers' lives as well when they get fined. Um, so it's This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.